TGR. What's up, guys? It's Rudy. Welcome to the weekly resume. I wanted to go ahead and cover a couple of topics that have happened this week. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing that I wanted to go ahead and talk to you about is something that was reported by Venture Beats and kind of just spread like wildfire. Um, I didn't see this coming. I'm sure plenty of people in the gaming industry did not see this coming. But uh, Reggie Fizame, who uh, used to be the president of Nintendo America, is now on the board of directors for GameStop. Um, that is something that I honestly never saw <laughs> coming <laughs> at all whatsoever. Um, GameStop for anybody that knows anything in the gaming industry knows that GameStop is kind of like um, it's, it's kind of like on its last stand essentially the company has been completely uh, going into the red uh, continuously and has been bleeding money um, so him being appointed to be on the board of directors alongside with Bill Simon and JK Symanchik is kind of interesting uh, we'll see what happens uh, JK Symanchik for the record um, he is the president and chief executive executive of PetSmart, which is a pretty successful pet brand, uh, at least in regards to that. But um, aside from that, Bill Simon, he's had plenty of roles throughout his career. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't think that this is going to be the easiest task at all to bring GameStop back into the black, uh, so to speak. So we'll see what happens. I don't really know what else to say in regards to that. Um, hopefully, Reggie knows what he's doing. Uh, I mean, he Nintendo was definitely awesome uh at the time when he joined back in the early 2000s so we'll see what happens uh the next thing that i wanted to go ahead and cover is uh witcher 4 um well not really witcher 4 but this is something that i posted on discord um i gotta give a shout out to my wife because she saw it she reads a lot of polish media and she saw this and was like oh my god like you gotta check this out so Thanks to Google Translate, I was actually able to kind of read and understand everything that was going on. But um, essentially, the um, the CEO of CD Projekt Red, um, Adam Kaczynski, uh, he went ahead and said uh, in an interview on um, pretty much what is the company's next phase or the next game after uh, Cyberpunk 2077 comes out. Um, he said that yeah, essentially the games that they are going to be working out as a studio, uh, they're all going to be The Witcher, they're all going to be um, Cyberpunk uh, related games. And uh, The Witcher in regards to Geralt is is done. That was a trilogy, you know, they, they pretty much finished it off and that's it. That doesn't mean that he doesn't want to do more games within the witcher universe so um the the author of the witcher um anjay he went ahead and pretty much screwed up his, his first uh deal with cd project red they wanted to go ahead and offer him royalties and he kind of was just like yeah like i don't think this is gonna make any money so he went ahead and took a lump sum payment uh now he's definitely you know i'm sure it was in the news in the past that uh he was not exactly happy with uh the situation uh in regards to what was going on so they renegotiated everything and um because of that renegotiation uh everybody's a little bit happier Anjay is working with CD Projekt Red in order to, you know, continue their relations and uh, using of their of his IP. Uh, and I'm sure if you haven't seen it, Netflix has an awesome Witcher series that I personally love. I think it's really cool. But yeah, so uh, CD Projekt Red essentially wants to go ahead and work on on nothing but Witcher games. So The Witcher 4 won't really be The Witcher 4 because it won't have Geralt but um, we'll see what happens. The last and final thing that I wanted to go ahead and talk about was um, the ESA posted yesterday, March 11, 2020, that um, there was, uh, that they're canceling E3. This is in regards to COVID-19. Um, I'm sure most people have heard about what's going on in regards to the uh, coronavirus. Um, and honestly, like I, I kind of saw that happening uh, and I, I, I would wanna say that most people saw that happening as well. It is a little sad because it is one of the largest gaming events in the industry. Um, and it, it, it is something that a lot of people look forward to, including myself uh, at the end of the year. So uh, when I found out about that, it was definitely a little saddening. There were plenty of, of rumors and murmurs here and there. Devolver Digital went ahead and tweeted that, you know, they're all like, oh, well, you know, we're, we're canceling our E3 plans and that kind of just dominoed everything else until the ESA went ahead and said officially, hey, we're doing this. Cool thing is that they are refunding um, all of the money that the uh, exhibitors and pretty much all the attendees that were there, they're giving all that money back and they're just looking ahead to 2021 to go ahead and do things. Now, little side note, this is just my opinion, 
I don't think that um, E3 will be what it has been in the past in 2021. And the reason being is because I see a lot of companies, they're gonna go ahead and say, oh, well, you know, I can just go ahead and do like a direct style stream or kind of like the PlayStation experience and still draw up that hype and draw up the marketing that comes with these streams. Um, Personally, I like to go to one spot, get everything all in one spot and call it a day. But at the same time, you know, companies are companies and they can go ahead and save a little bit of money without doing this crazy presentation and um, still go ahead and sell their product and their games, then that's something that, you know, they'll they'll go ahead and, and like because companies and corporations, they like money. So um, yeah, that's just my opinion. Uh, aside from that, you know, those are the three things that I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Um, honestly, it's the last bit with E3 is very saddening for me. Um, so yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Um, you'll probably see this after I stream a little bit of Ori and the Will of the Wisps. So uh, until next time, guys, deuces. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more and stay up to date, subscribe, hit the little bell and join our discord. If you want to support the channel, please check out our Patreon or hit the join button below. As always, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.